I'm going to use this great looking Rambler. I don't know if it has a slant six engine or not. Um, I need to give an attribution to the photographer. This is his name, Christopher, and I don't know how to pronounce it. I got this from Creative Commons, so I wanted to make sure that I did that first. Now I'm going to use this car. I'm going to pull the layers panel out by grabbing the little tab that says layers. I'm going to open it up a little bit. I'm also going to grab the channels panel out because I want you to see what an alpha channel is, or at least one of the uses. We're going to cover this more. And this is a start. This is a good start. We're going to colorize the headlights in this exercise. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have to move this over a little bit. We're losing our, uh, I have to, to move this, I have to make it double. There we go. And now I can make it a single strip. I'm going to get the marquee tool. And I already, it's already on the elliptical marquee. I'm going to start making a circle. I want it to be perfect circle, so I hold the shift key. I want it to um, open from the center, so I hold the option key, alt and a PC. And I don't have to get perfect, I just have to get close. Okay, there we go. Now, we want to use the move tool that moves the selection, not the regular move tool. So first I'm going to move my cursor inside the marching ants. Notice there's a white arrow with a little dotted square. I'm going to move this. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can really see what's happening here. There we go. I'm going to move this. I have to go back here to the marquee tool. And I'm going to use my arrows because that moves at one pixel. You can hold the shift key and move 10. But uh, this is a much finer selection. That looks good. Now, remember, if you think of moving using the regular move tool, that moves pictures. So if you use that with inside of a selection, look at the icon. It's a black arrowhead with a tiny scissor, and watch what happens. You cut it out. If you want to do that, that's fine, but we don't want to do that here. So I'm going to double click the hand tool to go back to fit on screen. I'm going to go to select, save selection, L, headlight. Now, Watch the channels panel. Okay. Now, whenever you say, when you save this, that will always be there. I'm going to show you the difference between a layer mask in the channels panel and an alpha channel. So the first thing I'm going to do is go back to move, move selection. See my icon? And I'm going to move this over to the screen right headlight. Now, this is important, you've got to select load selection. I always do the operation first, just so you have add to, subtract from, intersect. I want to add to the selection. I want to add the left one that I originally made to the one that I moved. So I'm going to say OK. Oh, I didn't pick it. Undo. <laughs> Bad. Oops. Select. Uh, load selection. Uh, I see it said layer transparency, it was the whole channel. L headlight, add to selection. Okay, now look, both headlights have marching ants around them. We're going to change the color of the marching ant, of the headlights with the adjustment hue saturation. Now, if you recall, if you have marching ants, an adjustment layer will automatically make a layer mask with the uh, what, what the marching ants would look like in black and white. Basically, that's what's going to get colorized is, those, is the white. White reveals, black conceals. Also, if I just move the hue slider, it doesn't seem to be great for the headlights. They don't have a lot of color in them. There's something called colorize. It's really tint, but it's colorized in this particular adjustment. So I'm going to click colorize. That's kind of ugly. I'm going to go to a nice blue and I'm going to add saturation. So now I have these beautiful blue headlights. Now the, what I wanted to also show you, I'm going to, um, I don't need these anymore. I'm just going to put this back in here and I'm going to, I want, I just want to open this up a little bit so you can see the difference. If, 
uh, I'm on the layer that has the headlights. Look at that. It looks like I have another alpha channel. It is't. It's telling you because the italicized type, it's attached to a different layer as a layer mask. It can be an adjustment layer. It can also be a picture, but it will always be italicized. I'm going to change. I often like to change the color. I mean, I leave hue, so I know I used hue saturation, but I'm also going to put headlights so I know which, because when you have like 50 of these, it gets harder to find. So there's that. Now it changed to here, but watch when I move on to the car layer, it'll disappear. So this is the alpha channel. This is the actual alpha channel that doesn't have italicized type. They will both save with the um, file, but, um, and there are things you can do with this um, in the channels panel. We're just not gonna go there yet. We're gonna use this car for other things. So I hope that was clear that that is one use for an alpha channel and we will be revisiting this car again.